Hi, my name is Ashley, and I would like to welcome you to my yoga practice. This flow is designed to be relaxing and just make you feel really, really nice. So enjoy. Let's get started in child's pose. So um, we're just going to rest and relax, but also be active and use traction to stretch our spinal column. So while we are being still, we are also pushing our tailbone back and using our arms to pull our spine forward. And this will release a lot of tension in our vertebrae. While we can also just enjoy the peace. Start to come out of that pose, and we're going to go on to our knees and just do a mini back bend. So stabilize yourself and reach back just a little bit. We don't want to be uncomfortable, we're just warming up our spine. Next, we are going to do a little series of cat cow. So feel free to go at your own pace and remember to breathe deeply. We are awakening the spinal column and getting our blood flowing and just allowing ourselves to feel amazing. Breathe in. We may encounter a live cat while we are in cats and that is perfectly normal. Just allow the cat to exist in your space and Continue with your practice. And now I'm going to do another back bend, allowing myself to go a little further. Just take your time and enjoy. And I will continue with my cat cows. Go at your own pace. Breathe in and arch your spine. Exhale and bend your back. Next, I'm going to thread the needle. So I reach my right arm through. And I'm just gonna relax here and just let my spine unwind because it feels nice. And of course, we are going to do the same thing on the opposite side. It does not matter which side you start or end with, that's up to you. So just enjoy. And release. I'm going to start to make my way back into table for another repetition of some cat cows and get ready for another big back bend. Now we should feel that it's a lot easier and we could go a lot further into that back bend. Enjoy a little twist from side to side. I like to put my hands in prayer pose to add a little stability and do a little yogic breathing, um, a little dragon's breath if you are familiar, but that's up to you. And now into downward dog where I'm going to enjoy a little playful movement. So do whatever feels good to you here. You know yourself better than I do. And I'm going to hop up onto my arms hoping to one day hop up into that handstand, mountain pose, and bring that great energy down to myself. And so we're gonna do a little bit of a flow, mountain, bringing our arms back and down, back and forth, nice deep breathing. Breathe in, bring your arms up, down, Push everything that no longer serves away. 
in, bring in positive energy, down, release all that no longer serves, and forward folds. So obviously we're going to have different degrees of ability with this pose. Do not feel like you need to push yourself right into the full forward fold right, fold right away. Um, everybody's different, so do what feels good to you. I'm going to do a little bit of playful movement to kind of unwind my spine, bring up that energy from the positive seeds that I've planted and back to myself and back into that spinal twist this time we're going to incorporate the hips a little bit so we're getting our hips and our spine nice and loose and just enjoying life baby so let's give this tree pose try um do it however you like you know there's so many ways just enjoy it and feel that energy feel the stability ground your foot down into the ground and reach those arms up to the sky try not to get distracted by your cat Now we're going to do a little play with balance. It's okay to be imperfect because we're just getting warmed up. And this is for fun, so enjoy it. And of course we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side little tree pose express it however you feel drawn reach those arms up and grow baby grow To grab that big toe with peace finger signs and be a little wiggity wobbity but it's all right because this is for fun and it's yoga and it's okay to be perfectly imperfect down into forward fold again release relax reset bring that energy up now I'm going to go down into yogic squats we are all at different levels in our journey here so do what feels right for you if you'd like to do a little side to side motion to loosen up those hip flexors i always enjoy doing that i have practiced this pose a lot so you do not feel like you have to hop right into this um, do what feels good and don't injure yourself i am doing a little side to side movement just to loosen up the hips the knees the ankles going to transition to sit onto my butts and go down to my back into happy baby happy baby baby So we are really focusing on our hips and our spines. We're gonna do a little, little back arch here. Feel the support in our lower back. 
and bend that spine in the opposite direction from what we're used to doing. Then I'm going to hug my knees into my face. And I love to repeat this flow because I can just feel it getting everything moving in my spine and my low back and releasing tension. So do this at your own pace and remember to breathe in when you hug your knees to your face and breathe out when you release into your arch. Go at your own pace because this practice is designed to make you feel amazing. Then I'm going to go into Deaf Yogi. You can do plow if you're not quite at Deaf Yogi yet, but um, once again, we are honoring our own bodies here, so enjoy. Then I'm going to start to rock back and forth and give myself a nice little back massage. It feels amazing, especially after all of that spinal work. We can just rock back and forth at our own pace for however long we want to. Wasn't that fun? Right, so... I'm going to start to isolate my hips and I love this movement to release any tension in my hips. I think a lot of us, especially women, subconsciously hold tension there. So enjoy a little movement, rock them side to side. I like to move my pelvis in a circle because it really just releases all of that anxiety. Sure to do it in both directions at your own pace. I'm going to add a fun little back roll into my practice so I can go back into my cat and cow because now we really have those spinal fluids moving. We're feeling nice and loose and the more we do this the better we're gonna feel. So it's always nice to take a break and come back to things. Do, do a series of these at your own pace and just enjoy. And then we are going to thread the needle one more time. So once again, pick your side. It doesn't matter where you start. Um, express your pose the way that you feel drawn because the point is to feel good. And of course, we are going to make sure to do both sides, so. Enjoy some nice deep breathing while you're here because this is your time to regenerate and nurture your body. Come back up into table again. And I'm going to do another little playful movement that I invented. I'm going to do some head circles. So I'm going to press my head down on my mat and use this to massage my neck and my vertebrae and give myself a little head massage. And it should feel really, really nice. to rotate in both directions and then I'm going to crawl back into child's pose again. I'm going to reset my breathing and just continue feeling really really nice and like I'm about to take a trip to the ocean. Come back up into the table and back into downward dog. And now you should really be able to bend, press those hips up in the air, massage those shoulders, pop yourself up onto your arms, mountain pose. And we 
are going to play with our tree pose balance one more time. So I'm going to pull my leg out to the side, holding onto my big toe. Now that I've been practicing a bit, I'm in the zone and I'm feeling much more balanced. And I'm going to take my leg behind me and move into dancer's pose. Sometimes I can do this perfectly and other days it's a bit of a struggle. So it all depends, but I'm just enjoying my practice. I'm going to switch it, pull my leg forward and extend over my leg. And it's okay to be perfectly imperfect and just enjoy the ride. Now we're gonna try the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to take my leg up into tree pose, grab my big toe, and extend my leg out to the side. I'm going to move playfully into dancer. It's okay to stumble a little bit, just smile and keep going because it's all for fun. And when I'm ready, I'm going to extend my leg forwards. In my own special way, so just enjoy it. It's fun. to come back into mountain and forward fold, extending my spine, come back up into mountain, and now I'm going to lunge from side to side. Feel free to put your hands on the ground to do this, move at your own pace. But I love doing this going from left to right because it's so good for hip mobility. Um, you can really feel it working and isolating a lot of different muscles in your legs that you don't normally use. So feel free to do this at your own pace. This is your practice for you. I'm just here to give you ideas. I'm going to touch my head to the ground and fly. Not always successful in the first attempt, but that's all right. We're coming up into headstands. If you can't get there that way, feel free to start in tripod and then go up into headstand or just hang out in tripod. It's wherever you are at. Enjoy a little playful leg movement at your leisure while you're there. This should be fun. Come back down. Going to go into star pose and just enjoy a little playful side to side movements and fold back down again. And sit to my butt. Because I'm not feeling like working too hard today. Um, going to go back into happy baby again, just feeling that new expansion in my hips. Breathe and rock side to side and feel good about my life. Put my feet back on the ground and do mini back arch and fold at your own pace. Enjoy this nice, nice movement. 
it's a little bit of a less is more movement because it's a smaller version of what we were doing earlier, but it just felt right. If you'd like to do it bigger for yourself, go for it, but sometimes less is more. And of course, as always, I'm enjoying some deep breathing. I'm going to bring both of my legs to one side. Feeling that stretch in my hips. Maybe if you want to put your bottom leg on top of your top knee, that will enhance this stretch for you. Then you can come up and give yourself a nice little figure four, figure four folds. Woo! And of course I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just feel that stretch in your hips and your hip flexors. Breathe deeply and enjoy. We're basically here to give ourselves a massage today. And we're gonna go into that figure four fold again. Breathing deeply and release. And now I'm going to come up into a wheel because my spine is nice and loose and limber. If you want to challenge yourself, you can come up on your tippy toes. You can walk your feet in closer to your head to enhance that arch. And slowly with control, I'm going to come back down to the ground and back into deaf yogi or plow, whichever you are feeling, baby. And release. I'm going to roll myself up and then lay back down and windshield wiper my knees from side to side. Hands in cactus pose. Loving life, baby. And I'm going to do a little bit more of my hip circles, rocking my hips from side to side. It's feeling so nice and relaxed. Go at your own pace, do what your body is asking for and nurture yourself. I think next time I might move that plant. But here we are. And that's it. I'm going to relax into corpse pose, shavasana, and just let that sun shine on my body. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Stay in corpse pose for as long as you like. And thank you for joining me. Namaste.